Hello YouTube, Gucci Gucci of course here. Um, I haven't posted up in a while, so I thought I'd post up and do uh, my thoughts on the 2019 Trekro Squate. Um, overall, the bike is really good, it doesn't come without its issues, um, but I think that the overall sort of feeling for me is it's a really nice, solid feeling bike. Had, for a hardtail, wet bike it's fantastic um a lot of people use it as a wet bike like a wet bike or wet weather wet weather ride or anything like that to keep full sus stuff in good nick over the winter but this is what i've you know this is what i would ride so because <clears throat> it's my only bike to be fair so um i know i i from the get-go and you'll see from previous videos that i've i've, I've put up yeah i uh, i just a lot of custom I wanted to add custom parts to it because I know that the wheels are fine, uh, but I wanted um, I wanted a wider rim and I wanted Hope Pro Four hubs front and rear. And yes, the rear does fit, and I'll go over that in a bit. Um, but yeah, I, I I wanted to beef out the rims. I wanted to have the the four fox. Fox factory forks and the uh, where are we going? <laughs> the stem. I wanted a rental stem and I wanted rental fat bars on there as well, as well as hope uh, tech brakes. I wanted the hope tech brakes on. Um, I put on the wheels, I put uh, hands damp 2.75 and they were 3.0 tyres, so they're nice and wide tyre. A lot of people say, well, what do you want that bike for? I'll tell you what, the ride's amazing. It really is. For our tail, really, really quite plush, actually, for our tail. <coughs> so, um, so yeah, the 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 bike is, is, for a budget bike, rides really well, as long as you get rid of the forks. I thought stick with the budget forks. Those Rock Shock forks are horrific, so don't stick with them. Um, there's too much plain stanchions. And they just they just they, they, they ruined the ride for me so i just swapped them as, as straight away um the gripes for me were um the rear wheel now the rear wheel should never ever have come with in my opinion should never ever have come with a screw to fix the rear wheel it should never have been a screw it should have been 14 mil straight through axle just to, to have that torsional strengthness on the on the on the rear triangle uh, the other one is the brake mount on the rear. That brake mount should never have been put in the rear, inside the rear triangle. It should have been outside the rear triangle. Um, and then at least you could put the brake, the brakes that you wanted on, uh, rather than having to fettle um, calipers with washers and, and what have you, because that's how you. That, that's just not. It's just not good. So there. So there were two. My third one was the paint. The paint's really soft. The paint's crap. <laughs> it really is soft. It chips so easy. Uh, my bike did. I don't know whether or not everyone else's is like that, but my bike certainly chipped easy, really easy. Um, but that being said, the ride is perfection for me. It's really, really nice for a hardtail. Straight through those, those uh, twists and turns and jumps and everything else. It does everything that the the um, the full suspension bike does and more. To be fair, so the rear hub, <laughs> Hope Pro Four. Trek dealers tend to say no, they hear Hope Pro Four won't fit because it's a Boost One Four One. The frame is a Boost One Four One on the on the Trek, so no, nah, it won't fit. It does fit. What you need is the the the, the hub that you need is the Boost One Four Eight Hope Pro Four Boost One Four Eight, and then get the uh, the nine millimeter adapters for that hub and it'll fit straight in the bike no drama works works straight away um i'm trying to think of, of, of anything else i mean let's say previous videos will show all this um what i've done what the bike looks like but i just wanted a bit of a an overview of my thoughts over you know use and if I've had any issues, I haven't had any issues at all. Nothing, no gear issues. Um, the one issue that I thought I would have would have been the dropper post. The dropper post is the bond rager. 
post that comes with the bike. I think it's a drop, a, a, a Bontre edge, I'm sure it is, that comes with the bike. Um, I've had no issues with it. Cable system, no issues. It's never seized. As long as you keep the cable tight, then you can do that by the adjustment on the on the actual thumb uh, controller itself. Just just wind that in slightly. Another thing um, to stop kind of cable stretch or anything like that is to have the dropper up when you're not using it and that keeps everything it seems to keep it as for me anyway it's kept everything right so that was i know it's i'm waffling and it wasn't it wasn't like a long video or anything like that but i pretty much wanted to say that as far as the trek ross white goes as far as this bike goes this is probably the, one of the last times you're going to be riding it. Uh, you've got to move on. Um, uh, I'm not getting rid of the bike. But what I am doing is because I'm pretty anal about cleaning the bike and keeping the bike clean. It's in showroom condition apart from the, apart from the paint chips. All the, the bars, stem, wheels, everything. They're, they're, they're mint. Absolutely mint. <clears throat> so, I'm getting a new bike. And it'll be hopefully next month. Hopefully, I'm quite excited about. It. I'm not going to tell you what it is because uh, I'll do a video on it when I get it. But why I'm doing is the bars, the brakes, and the rear wheel are going on that bike. So I'm going to get new tyres for it. But I'm going to do something. Um, a lot of people will have heard of it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to um, tell you what the bike is. And I'll let you know exactly, and it, it all fall into place what I'm what I'm what I'm actually doing. But my my head, the new bike is going to look amazing. So when I get that, I will I'll post up, I'll post a video, and I'll go through exactly uh, why I chose it, and and I'll go through like the riding, customization, and everything else. But <clears throat> I just wanted to post up. 2021 new start britain getting out of covid maybe unless that indian version takes hold of us which i mean let's face it the likelihood it's going to but we may go into lockdown again i don't know but fingers crossed we don't um but i, I will say one thing if it does i'm going to be prepared with the new bike i'm going to be all over the place in it so on it so so yeah so sorry it's a bit of a rambly video but it's the kind of thing I, I tend to do. I just wanted to cover sort of my thoughts on that. And, you know, if, if you have the money for one, buy one. You know, like I say, it's a budget bike. The Trek Rosquay is a budget bike for what it is. But tonight it is a good bike as long as you deal with the forks. You know, don't think that you can go mountain biking and rattling around on the trails on these forks. They will rattle you apart and it's such a most uncomfortable ride with those forks on. Swap the forks out to different bike. It's a different bike. I know that the forks that these changes the geometry on it slightly. It, ch it, it changed it and it's, it's made it more attackable. The attack, attack the trail, the trails more. It's slapping out the geometry more, and that's probably why I think that it's such a good bike because you can attack. You can attack with the with it. So I can't think of anything more to say on that. I'm not going to ramble on anymore. So. Um, so yeah, first video of 2021 and uh, hopefully a few more to come. Alright you, thanks for watching.